horses have been an integral part of the Palace of Versailles since its beginnings back in 1624, when it was first used as a hunting lodge. In the 18th century, during the reign of Louis XIV, more than 2,000 equines were housed there. Next year, the palace will welcome dressage, eventing and jumping royalty of the 21st century, when it plays host to the equestrian events for the 2024 Olympic Games. But today, the great stables are home to the National Equestrian Academy of Versailles, where riders and horses train and put on weekly performances for the enjoyment of the general public. Fanny Loray is an equier, historically the title for noblemen who served as a knight's apprentice, but today the name given to revered riders of the academy. We are here for two things. It's a place where we, sh we present a show. So we are professional and we do a show. But we also learn, it's a school. So it's kind of, uh, it's, it's quite unique. It's a unique system. So during the week, each one of us has four to five horses per person that we have to take care and train. And we get lessons of dressage, but we also get lessons in four artistic disciplines, which are singing, it's lyric singing, dancing, artistic fencing, and kudo, which is a martial art with a, a bow and arrows. And it's from Japan, of course. And in the show, we present all of this. So during the week, we practice and we improve ourselves and the horses. And in the weekend, we like we show what we can do. Dunya Kazul came to the academy in 2020. As a child, she'd seen a horse show at the palace and made it her ambition to become part of the team. I ride horses for my job because I try to do a lot of other things and I never really liked that. I'm riding since I'm a little kid. <laughs> so uh, when I was uh, after school, um, I was like, no, this is the only thing I want to do in my life, in my day. <laughs> I just want to ride horses. <laughs> I really love it. It's, uh, it's an amazing place to, to work. We have so many things to do every day, so this is really different every time, and I really like that. <laughs> This is Ripost. Uh, he arrived here uh, one year ago, and I like him because he's, he was real nervous when he arrived. He had too much energy, so we had to uh, keep all that energy to, to do the show in the arena. And uh, so this is my fencing horse, and I put him in the show uh, first. So here we have Lusitanos, mostly. They are from Portugal. It's the breed that was used in history basically for the war or for working with cattle because they're very easy to handle, to turn very quickly and then go fast and then stop. So that was really, really useful for the war and for the cattle. And because of these abilities, the king, for example, that lived here and other kings of Europe, they like this breed to show off because they have a beautiful mane and they kind of enjoy being beautiful and being watched. So these tables here, they have been built in uh, the 70th century and uh, we put horses again in 20 years ago for the academy and around 100 years there, has, there, there were no horses here anymore. So this was a new beginning for the stables uh, when we started the academy. I think for the show, the most important thing is to have a relationship with the horse, which means that you can trust him and he can trust you because it's like a companionship and we go there together as a duo. With some horses, you can bond very quickly because it matches and with some, it's a bit more difficult and it takes times, but it's always finding a, a way to communicate. The idea is to trust and make him trust you. Here we do all the grooming, tacking and everything, so that's the first step of the relationship is when you're in the stable with the horse and you meet him and you, if, if he's the kind of one who lacks of respect, you put the boundaries. If he's one that needs to be reassured, then you just pet him and talk to him, depending on the personality, depending on your personality too. And then riding, you learn, you set up a communication with your legs and your hand and your voice. All these little things all together, day by day, builds the relationship. I love this job. It's, it's, you have to be passionate. So if you're passionate, you enjoy it. Because it's a lot of work, but it's very, it's fulfilling. 
it's, it, it has a lot of meaning. Working in this table, of course, sometimes you think, oh wow, that's an incredible place. And it was, for centuries, there were beautiful horses, very interesting riders that we still have what they wrote, the books and everything for classical dressage. But then it's always the same. It's like time goes and, and everything evolves. So the dressage we're doing now has its roots in the dressage that they were doing in the 17th century, but it has evolved. And I think it has evolved in a, in a good way because now we know more about the horse's physical abilities and, and also we take in consideration that the horse has a mind and it's not a machine. And so it's a good thing to think that it is an important place. There were important people, there were good horses, good riders, and we still have to consider it, but we're moving forward. We're proud of that the Palace are going to uh, host the Olympic Games next year. Uh, it's going to be uh, exciting because of the pupils and more horses are coming there. We, uh, I'm looking forward to see that. <laughs> Each horse goes to the Palace at least once a week. So when we're walking towards the castle with the horses, sometimes we think that for centuries, when the king was here, everyone was riding, well, mostly everyone that had the money. They were on horseback and the horses were so important. Now we are only the 10 of us who are allowed to go horse riding in the palace. It's quite amazing, it's like, wow. And it's beautiful in every season. Every season has its own very beautiful light and everything. It's all different, but it's really beautiful. <laughs>